The arcade experience. After multiple job applications, the only job you get is at, is at an arcade. The catch is, it's in the middle of nowhere and strange events occur at night. What can you do in this game? Work at an arcade located in the middle of the woods. Investigate the weird anomalies happening in the area. Get multiple endings by winning in the game in different ways. Okay, so this is another experience horror game where you basically like play the game multiple times to get different kinds of endings and stuff. You know, like, you know, the airplane experience, the ship experience, all that kind of stuff. And yeah, real sucky just gonna get one ending and stuff because we actually have another experience horror game to play and stuff because of course it's not an experience horror game video made by me and stuff if it's not like more than like one experience horror game and yeah remember the streamer experience that i d played before you know like like the video will be popping up right now yeah most likely the video is already posted and stuff you could go check that out before watching this video and stuff and yeah like there there is a, there, there was supposed to be a chapter two and stuff and when I when I tried to play it and stuff, it wasn't released yet. But now, by the time I'm recording this, it it came out and stuff. So yeah, we're gonna play the arcade experience and the forest experience, which is another group that is probably like made by Shimuri Studios again. And yeah, this is only the second time that I play an arcade experience. The first one was from you know Extreme Funs, you know, you know that the Roblox group that like makes like like different genres of like Roblox games and stuff to like you know. Like, tr trend hopping or whatever, you know, like, to get the money. Yeah, you get it. Anyways, without further ado, let's play the arcade experience. Not made by Extreme Funds, but Leo's Experiences. Yeah, we're probably gonna play more experience horror games from them in the future. So, yeah, let's begin. Anyways, here we are. Um, the arcade experience. Oh, it seems that there's only two endings. I honestly expected to, like, have more, but I guess not. Alright, anyways. All right, now that we're here, um, is this guy gonna join us? Alex, you wanna join? I I guess you're just gonna wait for someone else because I guess you don't fucking like me like me then. All right. Then. All right. Anyways, uh, without further ado, let's play the arcade experience, Wheels Experiences Edition. All right. Oh, would you look that? It's about to turn 1 a.m. It took an hour, but I finally got here. Let's hope it's worth it. Our objective: get to the arcade and then answer the phone on the top of the chair inside with. Oh, it's just a dragon plushie. Okay, then. Um, alright. It's pretty damn dark, but okay. Alright, then. After multiple job applications, this is the only job that will hire me, but better than nothing, right? I'm not sure why they want me to main, main maintenance the building so late. Alright, then. Alright, then. It's just right here. Alright. I like that these, these actually have some cutscenes. And of course, it's AI for it. I got nervous too when it was my first day in the job. You'll have nothing to worry about. It is nighttime, so nobody usually comes in here. But for the people that do come in to play a few games at the arcade, make sure to treat them well. I wouldn't want anyone to leave bad reviews on the franchise. Before I hang up the call, make sure to clean up everything in the building like I told you. Okay. Uh, and of course, I mean, you could have at least, you know, like actually have the water spilled like everywhere, like when I got in, you know, like you don't, you don't have to like place them there and stuff, like like what you don't have to place them there when like the objective starts, like that doesn't really make sense. If there are water spills and stuff, then they should be there the whole damn time, when I until I get to the objective. But yeah, that. That's the thing I don't like about these experience horror games. Like, well, you need to do objective or, like, clean and stuff. They just appear all of a sudden, you know? Like, like why not just have to put the time in and just, pl like, place them there until the objective starts, you know? Like, whatever. All right. It is what it is. Can't really, like, control this game and stuff. You know, I didn't make it, so. Anyways. All right. One more. And there we go. Wait for your new task. While you wait, look around the arcade. All right, then. The fuck just... All right, what are we on in our rack, huh? I think something just exploded. Hopefully, it isn't part of the building, like the walls or roof. It, if it's an arcade machine, it wouldn't be too hard f to fix. All right, then I guess we just have to go and grab the wrench. Where the hell? Is All right, what is in the back? It's 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 in the back of the building. Let me guess. It's you know, I have my volume all the way up. So, yeah, let me guess. Like, it always happens, jump scares always happen outside and stuff, since, you know, it's the night and stuff, like, the night shift, whatever, you know. 
Yeah, let me guess. I'm gonna see someone right there, and then, like, go back to the building and stuff, and then they're not there anymore. Let me guess. That's gonna happen, huh? I know there's gonna be a jump scare. I just know it. It happens every single time when- Ah! See, what the- Ah! What was that? It appeared- It appeared- And surely it disappeared. I think I'm just paranoid and imagining things. Yep, what I tell you? It always happens outside and stuff. Whenever we're outside, boom! Jump scare happens, you know? Like- yeah, anyways, um, grab a wrench from the shed in the back of the building, then come back to repair the broken arcade machine. Yeah, see, what I tell you, and I kind of, my arm kind of hurts now all of a sudden, what the hell? Alright, anyways. Alright, yeah, this is chapter one, so it's most likely going to be a chapter two. I don't know which one it's going to be. Probably like a desert experience. I don't even know. So, you know, we're like in the middle of nowhere, like, curse the cowardly dog. And I'm going the wrong way, god damn it. Uh, where? Come back to a the broken ah of course um yeah it's just yeah dang all right so i guess each of these endings take place in a different universe then huh all right then there we go we fixed it all right what else do we have all right we got you know those classics classic claw machines and stuff the bowling the popcorn a customer! I guess it's time of the night where people try the arcade, I guess. I was told to sell them arcade cards if they enter in. So they play on the arcade machines. Alright, uh, where the hell is the... Aha. Uh -huh. Alright then, here you go. There you go. I guess you mean this. All right then. Um, equip flashlight. Oh. God. Good thing. How much are? How many? How many? Each of you are? Are you? It's like, how many are? The, I can't. Even, I don't even know. Just that there's so many of them and stuff. What they like put triples or triplets or whatever. Is that it? I'm just gonna. Okay. You can only grab one by one. Okay then. So that we got a little injured and stuff, like during that jump scare, you know. Oh, and, and it's just a noob with a top hat. All right then. I want to start an arcade right here. Okay, here we go. All right, right here. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Let me guess. Who's next? What? What's the next hat someone's gonna have, huh? I just wonder. Okay, where did that broken glass come from? Uh oh, I think the glass from the door broke. We better fix it before another customer comes in. Okay, then who the hell did that, huh? Dustpan. All right then. Gotta go grab the dustpan. <laughs> All right. Just give me the damn dustpan. Just in case, if it tries to jump scare me, you know, since they probably know that I'm a little. Little bitch boy, you always get scared. All right then, there we go. Yeah, this is fun. I guess we can't press that yet then. Probably for one, and then so. All right then. Maybe <laughs> a little bitch. All right. I just give you it. Come on, take it. Take it or leave it then. Alright then. Now get the heck out of here. Alright. Well, we got that down. Now what? Alright. Alright, I just gave you it. Take it or leave it. The best. Do I literally need to like need them to finish their sentence or whatever to actually like let all right whatever. All right, damn, we got a lot of money this night, huh? Oh. Uh, it's a mysterious monster. Not surprised. Uh, 
And of course, it's either a mysteri mysterious monster on the loose or like a killer on the loose. It's either those two things. Uh-oh, a monster like that could end up here in the arcade. My shit is nearly over anyway, so hopefully nothing happens during that time. Oh, do the endings mean like... Or, you know, now that I think about it, the two endings probably mean, like, just, like, either run or hide, you know, like, just like every single experience horror game. Kind of got that wrong, I guess, you know. Alright, here you go. I just laid a game, dude. Take it or leave it! Of course, I'm... What? The fuck? Who said that? The hell was that? What was that noise? I should investigate the noise, the sound outside. The music also turned off for some reason. Investigate, investigate the noise outside and be careful. You don't know what is out there. Okay, well, where the hell do I possibly go? Hello? Hello? Are you guys okay? Hello? Hello? Why is there a car there? Who's in there? Hello? Um, oh. Of course. Over there. I... So was... So was the car there the whole time? Or something? And I just didn't notice? Probably. Alright. Best to get the sound. Of course, it's all the way out here. We go, we go back into the arcade, and we we either, we either run or hide. So the source material of every single experience horror game. And of course, it's very damn far away. <sighs> ah, of course, see what I tell you. We have to run. I have to get back to the building as quick as possible. Well, uh, there we go. Ha ha! You suck. Ha! Ah, elbows off. Tea back. Tea back. We only have one choice to get out of this building alive. I need to push the panic button. All right, push it. All right, so what the fuck is the panic button to do? Now that it's pressed, the police should be coming to the arcade soon. We just need to survive and make sure the monster doesn't get us. Okay, what the fuck are we supposed to do? Protect yourself against the monster and its ruthless minions, huh? I'm sorry. Mini monsters are somehow getting what? Huh? No, back. Ew, you beast. Ew. What, is this some boss battle all of a sudden? Okay. Ah. No. No, stop. Back. There are so many of them. Ah, jeez. Fuck. Get back. Back. Ew. Oh, you disgust me. I've seen gar- I, I've seen garbage cans more better than you. Ew. Ew. Get away. Ew. Disgusting. Ew, you disgust me! We defeated the mini, mo mini monsters. I think I should try to get in the car that I parked earlier. I have to feel like Uh, is he chasing me? Guess not. All right then, we're out of here. And of course, we're out of gas. Let me guess, we're out of gas then, huh? Oh jeez. Oh, the car has no fuel. I've seen fuel canisters over. Wait, what? I should get them before the monster comes back. Wait, what? What? What is he chasing us? Okay, well, there's. Okay then. So ah, uh, yep. All right then. Uh. Okay, then, I guess we just... Yeah. So, can we all... Can we grab them all one by one? Stuff, maybe? Um, I... Yeah, I guess we just have to avoid, you know, the mini monsters or whatever, you know? His little minions! Yep. Oh, God. Oh, dear. Goodbye. All right. All right, and that one... I just get in here. Well, no, that's probably from. All right, whatever. Anyways, let's just grab all these. There we go. Another one that's probably near the car, maybe. Yep. All right. There we go. We got all the fuel canisters. Time to get. Time to get to the car without new new fuel. Yay. Head back to this car. The monster is for sure mad at you now. Our normal ending. You survived. You earned the good ending. You success. You success. Success. 
fucking. You were able to get. You got out of the arcade unharmed. And I suppose the bad end is just where we die, so. Yeah. Oh. Well, gosh, deadly darn that. Okay, well then, the Force experience is unfortunately not Xbox support, so. Yeah, I guess we're not able to play this then, huh? That's a shame. So, yeah, that was the arcade experience. Um, Leo's Experiences Edition. I honestly thought we were actually going to be playing two Roblox like horror experience horror games and stuff but no we only we're only able to play one and stuff since you know the other one's not xbox for and if you guys don't know me as a roblox youtuber yet i'm one of those roblox youtubers who always plays on the xbox and stuff you know since you know i don't want to play on my phone and stuff because it's gonna look weird just like show my like phone and stuff like swinging around like for the camera and stuff like like recording those school fights or whatever you know like and recording on my computer like my chromebook it y yeah you get it but, yeah, um, maybe you'll become Xbox support in the future. Maybe not. I don't really know. We're just going to have to see what happens next. Anyways, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you have any other experience horror games you want me to play and stuff, you know, like, um, I don't know, um, you know, Fire Fire Experience or, or, um, the Prank Experience, you know, like, any other experience horror games that you want me to play. Or if you want me to play an update from a Roblox, Roblox experience like these that I did play before, but I never heard of the update, and you just wanted to remind me and stuff, then suggest them on the group below on my Roblox group, the Puggy Puzzle IT group. You can get you a quick link in the description below that has a very long paragraph. Or you can just do a long way and search our Roblox group, the Puggy Puzzle IT group, as most likely you'll be the first one to pop up. And here's the thing about the Roblox group, though. You can actually just suggest more than, like, Roblox experiences stuff. Like, you suggest, like, like uh, Puggy Speaker Shorts extras ideas, videos for me to react on YouTube, like, movie trailers and stuff. Like, it doesn't really have to be specifically Roblox experiences and stuff. So just make sure they're not inappropriate because, I mean, of course... Also, um, quick note though, if the Roblox Experience you do this is not Xbox support at the moment, that will basically just say on the group wall that it's not Xbox support, but when it does become Xbox support in the future, I will most likely and hopefully remember to play it. Also, suggesting to give you toilet experiences are not allowed, suggest to give you toilet experience, then boom, you can't be deleted, and that will basically be your first word for being exiled from the group. Also, um, if you do suggest a Roblox experience, or ask me to play an update for a Roblox experience that I did play before, but I never heard of the update, and I still haven't made a video about it yet, there are either two things that are happening right now. Number one, I'm probably busy recording other Roblox gameplays and stuff, because I usually record the suggestion one blast, or I'm probably busy with something else, you know, like an animation, or a completely different project that I haven't revealed or announced yet. But don't worry, the Roblox experience you suggest will still be recorded by me, uploaded, yada yada yada, you'll still be created in the description below, Roblox profile, or even by a chance, a YouTube channel. Also, um, do not suggest me, um, any Roblox experience that's made by, you know, like, bad people on Roblox stuff, you know, like, Game Fam or Big Games, or no bad, bad reputation on Roblox, I already said this multiple times, your comment will be deleted, it's not a warning, I just don't want to be associated with, like, you know, playing Roblox experiences made by people who have just been known for doing bad things, you know, like, rumor miners or whatever, so, yeah, also, do not suggest me any Roblox R63 experiences. That one is very simple explanatory. You'll be exiled from the group without any warning. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Puggy Puzzle YT is signing off right now. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And as always, peace out.